Um, so I was talking about the importance of the tumour microenvironment in the context of uh, brain malignancies, uh, mostly focusing on primary brain cancers, but we also believe that the tumour microenvironment is very important for understanding and targeting brain metastases as well. No, we look at it in many other contexts as well. So we have, uh, over the years, looked at the importance, for example, of a uh, a cell type we believe to be very important, uh, tumour associated macrophages in pancreatic cancer, in breast cancer uh, and now in brain malignancies and we think that there's actually a lot to be learned from, from kind of comparing and contrasting the functions of those cells but other cells in the microenvironment depending on the organ, depending on the underlying uh, malignancy uh, that we're investigating. So we are looking at the potential roles for tumour-associated uh, macrophages. Those include resident microglia that can get co-opted in the context of uh, brain cancer progression, in the context of metastasis, um, but also cells that are recruited from the periphery. So particularly as, uh, as gliomas, for example, progress, develop, become more malignant, there's an increase in the abundance of uh, macrophages that, that are recruited from the periphery. So potentially important, we still don't know if they, uh, the resident microglia and the recruited macrophages have the same functions or potentially have some, some opposing functions and so that's obviously important to understand in the context of targeting those, those cells therapeutically. Um, there, there's no, there's been quite some reporting on this and there's, there's a number of clinical trials that are ongoing um, using various different agents that target macrophages uh, in many cancer types including in, in gliomas so uh, the trial data is, 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 you know, we're still waiting to see what the, the final uh, results are from that but uh, it's certainly a, a, a rapidly moving field, yeah. Uh, so for targeting macrophages, it's mostly been inhibitors of a key signaling pathway uh, important for those cells, colony stimulating factor 1 receptor pathway, or CSF1R, and there's a number of small molecule inhibitors, but there's also antibodies that target that receptor uh, that are being tested in various different clinical contexts, including, again, in gliomas. So again, uh, immunotherapies are now in clinical trials for glioma patients, results so far, at least with monotherapies, are not, not, certainly not as striking as what has been observed for, for the kind of uh, uh, successes of melanoma and uh, lung cancer, for example. And so again, as a community, it's really important for us to understand uh, what are the ideal combinations that one may want to test with those immune therapies. And so uh, what, what we certainly believe is targeting uh, immune suppression within the brain microenvironment, including the context of gliomas, is going to be key to essentially unleash uh, the, 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 the ability of T cells to then uh, be activated to, to, to kill the tumour cells. And myeloid cells, including tumour-associated macrophages and microglia, are really a key immune suppressive cell type within the, the brain. And so we think it's really important to consider approaches to target them in conjunction with immunotherapies. Uh, I think the take home messages are uh, that it's really important to understand the complexity of the, the, the cancers that we study if we are to have any success in therapeutically targeting those. Um, often the focus uh, historically has been, this applies to, to many aspects of cancer research, to just focus on genetic genomic changes in the cancer cells themselves with maybe minimal uh, appreciation for the importance of immune cells, the blood vasculature, the lymphatic vasculature and so on. Uh, and we know that they have profound effects in terms of uh, a, a cancer initiation, progression, uh, metastasis, therapeutic response. And so uh, we think it's really key to understand uh, and investigate cancers in their native microenvironment, but it's also becoming increasingly important to think about how uh, systemically uh, cancer alters the immune system, for, for example, 
and how that can impact again on cancer progression and also therapeutic response. So going forward, I think you know we take the lessons that we learn from understanding the local tumor microenvironment and apply that at a systemic level as well. Uh, that, that's going to be key for many of the aspects of what we've been speaking about uh, during this conference. Thank <laughs> you.